All right, qualified P21 in the PCA Sim Racing, PCA Club Class Race 2 at Sebring. Um, 21st position with a 203 something, 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 whatever. Not the fastest lap I've done here. Um, definitely is going to be about my race pace, I suspect. Um, a lot of fast guys in this field. I'm about dead center. It is a 38 car grid, as near as I can tell. I thought I saw 40 people totally uh, in in practice, but it looks like uh, only 38 qualifiers. Uh, oh, okay. I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, we will see. We'll good see, luck, uh, guys. How we do? And um, good luck and have fun. See if we can just keep it on the track for a while. Um, I again, have this fun, week's guys. been nuts. Have not had a lot of practice, so we'll uh, we'll good see luck, what everyone. we can do. The track temp is 69. The air temp is. 66 Fahrenheit. Nice and steady. P21. Okay, Chip. Stay calm. Focus. Go. Nail it. There's an incident in Christensen. Really sorry about that. Car 247, connection one. I don't even know how many positions I lost. I don't really care at this point. This is a tough track to get this car around hustling. And this is the first lap of many. I can live with this. That was dangerous. I don't know who Neil is. Give him a little space until I learn who he is. Eight twenty six. It looks like ball. Vulgar behind me. Oh, 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 oh. Tower. Let Volker buy.
hit from behind. What a mess, dude. George, if you want by, just shout, man. I think you're quicker than I am. All right, Mike. Thanks. Or maybe I'll just let you by. I didn't touch you, did I, Mike? No, not at all. No, it was it, just driver error. Oh, Chip. Come on, mate. Defend your position. It's a pretty... What the f... Looking in the mirror at you, George. There's an incident in gender BN. Sorry, it happens. I was hoping to avoid it.
there's an incident in. Cunningham, you think it might be? Blanco, there's an incident in. Collier. Yellow flag. Christ's sake, man. Hey, George. Um, leaders coming up on you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom.
B-27. There's an incident in Bristol, so it looks like Mall. There's an incident in Tower. You think it might be the Young? Incident in. Cunningham. When do you get a burger and a shake, I think. I think there's a Shake Shack or something over there. How am I going to pass right? There's an incident in Le Mans. It looks like it's Harris. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Wow. I had to actually avert because I was going to hit him if I didn't. And hitting the brakes in Sunset is like, well, committing suicide. Okay, Chip. <laughs> Come on, stay idea. focused. Apexes and exits. Apexes and exits. B25. Go on, by I'm blipping. Well done, fella. I wasn't sure I could hold that. B24. Incident in Bristenson. Yellow flag. There's an incident in turn five. Apologies, Kevin. That was a questionable rejoin. Incident in Cunningham. There's an incident in Collier.
Oh, you're good, Logan. Thank you. Thanks, Eduardo. Thanks, Eduardo. Stick to your line, nail those exits. Sean, I'm pitting out. Alright, take the inside then. Nice, Bruce. Okay, Jeb. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. speed. Mid lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. 
will fill you to the end of the race. Three On you, feet. George. Uh, go right side. Back five. Feet. Yep. Concentration. Make the bastard work for it. Come on, give me a little ease up, man. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. Peter. Why are you going to be racing me, dude?
There's an incident in Christensen. It looks like Holmes. There's an incident in Le Mans. Thanks, Richard. You all welcome, no problem. Incident in Le Mans. I think it might be Harris. That's a pretty big mistake by a Ken, uncharacteristic. Incident in the hairpin. It looks like it's Robinson. He's like me, he's hot and tired and ready for this to end. P23.
tires are definitely feeling a little old. Heck, I'm feeling a little old right this second. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. So this should be white flag, I guess, then. They're entirely too uh, calm up there, guard. This is fun. This is fun. Searching. Yep, oh, no problem. We both screwed up. Yeah, I got a bit crazy down there. Launch it. Nicely done. B21. White flag, last lap. Very little fuel left. Fumes, mate. You've got one gun on left. There's an incident in turn one. We think it might be Davis. And Douglas. B21. Okay, it's 
over. Well, that's a wrap. Disappointing race. Um, not, not really happy um, in in general. Uh, Sebring's one of my tracks. I really enjoy driving it, and I tend to be fairly fast in it. Um, I'm still just not feeling the 992. Um, I I feel like I'm wearing somebody else's shoes. It's it's just not quite coming to me yet. I'll get there. But um, so I wasn't fast. I didn't qualify well, and uh, wound up having to start further back. Um, <sighs> Interesting choices. Um, I, I think early in the race, you have to exercise a little bit of prudence um, and um, maybe, um, especially when there are cautions on track from people spinning and doing different stuff that you, you want to you want to do the right thing. And sometimes that means lifting. And um, unfortunately, not everybody has that same philosophy. And um, they take advantage uh, of the situation, which, you know, in some circumstances, uh, maybe that's the only advantage that they have. So they're, they're taking the opportunity while they have it, while people are bunched up and um, trying to get around folks. Because it is true that it's difficult, more difficult to get around somebody um, once they're ahead of you than it is to um, to, you know, pass them later or catch them later. Um, anyway, uh, coming through that complex, um, uh, I, I, I knew I had a car beside me. Um, at one point, um, he got by, let him by, you know, again, I had let up um, coming through for caution. Did not know that the second car was back there and um, looks like from the replay looked like I, I squeezed him a little. Um, but then the payback that I got for that seemed to be um, to get bumped off the track. Um, and of course, got the only 2x that I got in the race um, as a result. Um, and I lost so much time um, letting everybody go by and re entering cleanly that that just sort of killed any opportunity that I had to make top 20, let alone top 15, which I'm not fast um, in this car yet, but um, I, I figured that I, I had a top 15 in me. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but, you know, uh, <laughs> you, you can't get those things back. That It is what it is, um, and it's where it landed. So enough about me. Let's talk more about me. No, um, let's uh, talk about the, uh, the, the podium. Um, I got the opportunity to watch the broadcast um, before recording this, and man, what a race up front. Um, Sean Murphy um, ran a great first half of the race, and I think that the only reason that Garrett was able to uh, come out on top, maybe not the only reason, Garrett's a heck of a driver, um, so got to give him the credit he's due, but I, I think Sean made a little bit of a mistake pitting way too early because when he came back out, he had to contend with a bunch of traffic that slowed him way down. Um, and he actually had to put more fuel in the car. Um, and I, I, I think that it just, it, uh, it, it hurt him pretty significantly and dropped him to, to second place, but drove a heck of a race, super fast, um, just really, really fun to watch and entertaining. And of course, Garrett, Garrett, man, you put him in a car, he seems to be fast, no matter who he's racing against, he's towards the top of the field. And, uh, it's just really impressive to see. And, uh, he just put himself in a position to be able to win the race. And, uh, he held Sean off there at the end. Um, and Sean was fast. I, I thought for sure Sean was going to catch him there at the end. And, uh, um, Garrett, Garrett did what he needed to do to, uh, to, to keep, uh, Sean from, from getting, getting to him, getting around him and Tamer also great talent, good, uh, good racer. So not a shock to see him get another podium um and in this race so really really good um as for me um i qualified uh, p21 um and wound up finishing exactly where i started which i guess given the fact that i went off track had you know a lot of that uh, to contend with uh getting back even is okay um but definitely not where I wanted to finish. Um, I really, I really did want to finish further up the field. Um, but I did only have those two incident points and, uh, um, had a little bit of fun there at the end. Um, Ken, you know, I was happy following along, um, for, for a little while. Um, and it got towards the end of the race and I'm like, yeah, let me see what I can do. And, uh, wound up, uh, I, I think really it boiled down to, I think I had more tire than Ken did there at the end. Um, and, uh, was able to exercise that, uh, to my benefit and reel him in, pass him. 
um, and then just drive away from him. Um, I, I think if I had actually made that move maybe two or three laps earlier, I may have had uh, something for, for Patrick as well. Um, but, you know, again, I, I didn't make the decision to do that until very late, and I was feeling pretty good about the car. The car was un in under me fairly well. Um, tires were starting to get a little squeamish uh, at the end, but uh, it was... Uh, um, it was driving nice. And, uh, again, I love Sebring. So it's good that I love Sebring because, uh, Rob Cottle and I are once again in the champion motorsports, I uh, racing team endurance series race at Sebring on Sunday. And we are in the Porsche 911 GT three R and, uh, um, uh, you know, we did really well, um, in the Sebring 12 with our team of, you know, Rob Cottle and the Jeffs and myself, uh, Jeff Rosenthal and Jeff uh, Williams. Um, we were in, I think, the next to bottom split. So, you know, nothing to write home about. Um, we put the car on grid in 10th position and over the course of 12 hours drove it into second second place. So we got a podium in, a, in the 12 hour race. So we're over the moon um, at that uh, performance. We're really happy with it. Um, I love getting back into the GT3R. So I'm, I'm looking forward to Sunday's race. Um, I don't know that we're going to do as well as we did in the 12 hour, but I, but I think that it will be a really fun race for Rob and I, because we're both familiar with Sebring. We've driven it a lot recently. Um, so it should be a, a fun, fun outing. So um, I'm hoping everything will work out and I'll be able to publish that race as well. Um, maybe not on Sunday, but sometime early next week. And um, we'll see where we go. At any rate, um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, again, I uh, hope that you will click on the like button if you like the content. Uh, and if you want to see more of my content and you're not already a subscriber, it says something like 85% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers. So if you're one of those people and you're enjoying the content and you're, you're catching it on a fairly regular basis, why not subscribe? You'll get notification uh, of anything that I publish new and can just sort of, you know, see my stuff. Um, it's, it, it's not scary, I promise. Um, also, um, comment on the videos. Love to see comments, um, even if it's questions um, or comments, uh, why I did something, um, what kind of equipment I'm using, how I do something fun in the broadcast or in the recording. Um, let me know. Comments. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and have a good, uh, good rest of whatever part of the day it is. <laughs>